markets all ended slightly higher today. The Dow finished up more than 20 points to close at 18,598. The Nasdaq was up 11 and a half points to close at 52,40, and the S&P 500 finished up almost five points to close at 2187. All right, that brings us to this market analysis tonight. Brian Mackey is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Hi, Brian. Hi, Shannon. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for uh, being with us this evening. Absolutely. All right, so what drove the markets today? Sure. So as you mentioned, stocks up just a bit, about a quarter percent. Uh, traders have really been spending the past couple days uh, looking through statements from the Fed. We've had a couple of Fed officials speaking over the past couple days, as well as the Fed minutes, which were released yesterday afternoon. Not a whole lot of new information, so we didn't see a lot of market action today. Uh, one part of the market that was moving quite a bit was the energy sector. Uh, oil prices up 3% today, and that's the sixth day in a row that oil's been up. Uh, and that's coming from reports out of OPEC nations, which are stating that they're going to cut back or uh, slow down their growth in production of oil. So less supply means higher prices. Mm -hmm. We saw companies here in the U.S. Uh, stock prices were up 2% in the energy sector. All right, interesting. I see Walmart reported some earnings today. Anything interesting there? Sure. Uh, Walmart reported earnings in the morning, and they reported that both earnings and revenue were better than what the street was expecting. So stock was up 2%. Uh, what I found pretty interesting there was that uh, the retail sector in general has been struggling the past few quarters as consumers are shifting over and buying more on the Internet, and uh, that's really been hurting the brick-and-mortar stores out there, but Walmart seems to be a relative bright spot in the, in the market. Which is interesting, because didn't they just buy Jet.com? That's absolutely right. So they're trying to make that pivot that a lot of companies are, are noticing and trying to take advantage of, uh, of the, the trends out there. All right, we just talked about this a few moments ago, but one of the big stories today is that announcement from the Department of Justice that they will not be using private prisons going forward, mm -hmm. that the federal ones are actually safer. Uh, how did that impact those companies, though? Sure, there were two companies that are publicly traded, uh, the GEO Group and uh, the Corrections Corps of America, and both those stocks were down between 35 and 40 percent today, so big drop. And this was definitely an unexpected event for those companies because uh, they were roughly flat trading right before the, the announcement, and they're actually they were up year to date um, before this announcement. So uh, big shock for uh, for investors there. All right, so let's talk about tomorrow. What shall we expect? Not a whole lot. It's a pretty uh, sleepy Friday in the in the summer for for the market. Mm -hmm. uh, there is one company, uh, Deere and Company, which is reporting. They're the producer of John Deere tractors, so that's a report we'll be taking an eye on tomorrow morning. All right. Well, hopefully everybody's taking a nice long weekend then after that. <laughs> Ryan Mackey of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Shannon. Have a great weekend. You too.